welcome to our channel my name is oral mckenzie and in this video i'm going to share with you two free video editing software that you can use to edit your youtube videos and this channel i teach social media marketing and help you solve your everyday tech problems you know i like sharing my knowledge with you because i strongly believe that knowledge is power and i want to empower you all so if it's your first time here i love for you to subscribe to our channel if you're always wondering what free editing software is out there that you can use to edit your YouTube videos, well, this video is definitely for you. So all you gotta do is stay tuned. And the first one on the list is Filmora. And you can get it at this link, filmora.wondershare.com forward slash video dash editor. I'm going to put this link in the description of the video. It's available for Mac as well as for Windows and here is a free download so all you have to do is to click the download button and you'll get it on your computer there is also a version that you can purchase a more um, um, advanced um, version once you download it what you want to do is to install it on your computer and once you install it on your computer and you open it this is what it will look like so you can start editing your video right away to edit your video all you have to do is to import your files into Filmora. So you just come right here and click where they have import and you, you can import files from, from your computer itself, from your camera, from Facebook, Instagram, from Flick. You can import files from various places. And I've already gone ahead and import my file right here that I want to use as an example. So what I'm to get your file down in the editing section, all you have to do is to hold on to it and drag it down in the section. Or you can just click on this plus button. So I'm just going to click on the plus button and you're going to get it down right here, here to edit. And to edit it is pretty simple. All you have to do is to move the cursor to, the, to this cursor right here, this little thing that you have right here. Just move it to wherever you want to the, in the video and you just click on the scissors icon right here to cut it if you want to cut it. So I can just cut it right here. And if I want to take out a piece of the video, I just move the cursor a little forward more and then I just click the, the scissors again. And then I just click on to highlight that section that I want to take out. And then I just click the delete button and it will be deleted. So it's as easy and, and simple to use. It's a very great software. You can do a bunch of things with it. You can add music. You can add text. You can use transition filters, overlays, elements. There's a lot of features in it. But I, I'm, I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm not going to go through a whole tutorial with Filmora. I'm going to show you a few more things. And then I'm going to move on. To the next one you can also add and remove watermark with filmora there are three ways in which you can actually remove the watermark so i'm just going to get straight into them the first way to remove the watermark is to click on the power tool icon right here and after you click on the power tool icon what you're going to do is that you're going to blur it out so if, if you notice this video was captured um from a television say um station and, and they have the watermarks in here, what you can do is to blur out the watermark. So after you click, click on the power tool, you go to Mosaic, and you click on it, and you click apply Mosaic to this clip, and I'm gonna click add. And what you want to do is to hold on and move the icon over the clip where you want to blur out. And if you notice, the icon, the watermark is gone. So next on the list would be YouTube. YouTube itself have a built-in video editor in YouTube. But the first thing you want to do is to upload your video or your file to YouTube. You want to ensure that when you upload your file to YouTube, you make it private because you don't want a notification to send out to your subscribers with a video that is not edited as yet. And as soon as the video is uploaded, all you have to do is to come right here and click done. So I'm going to click on done. And then I want to head over to create a student. So I come up here and click on the icon and I'm going to go create a student. And I'm just waiting for it to load. It should. And what you want to do is to come right down here where they have create. Now all you have to do is to click on create. And it is loading. Should complete in a few seconds. And when it complete, you will get three options. You have music policy or you have the video editor. So what you want to do is to go to the video editor. So I click on the video editor. And when it finished loading, as you'll notice, it will bring up all your videos your entire library of videos so you can select any video that you want to add but one important notice is that this cool feature 
let me read for you. This editor will go away on September 20, 2017. Remember to finish up any unpublished projects before that. So you have like um, about two months to use this for free and then you'll have to find another um, video editor. So let me show you real quick how you can use this. So all you have to do is to come to one, whichever video that you want um, to add right here and you can just hold down on it and drag it in here or you can just click on the little plus button that you see right here that said add video clip. So just click on the little plus button and it will take your video clip right here. So to edit it is pretty simple and it is easy to use. All you have to do is just to play the video or move this this X um, scissor sign with that said split clip to wherever you want to split the video. So if if I move this this um, icon right here to the middle of the video, you can just click on the scissors right here and split split it, and I can take out the part that I want. So for example, example, I want to take out this part. All I have to do is just move it to the part that I want, and I click on the scissors. And again, and again, and just click the X right here. That's it. Notice. So notice right here, the X then the remove clip. So I will remove this part from the video. So just click on it, and that part will be removed from the video. And if you have a next video, you, if you have a next video that you want to put with this video in the middle right here or at the end, wherever you want, all you simply do is hold it down and drag it to wherever you want it to go in the video and let go of it, and it will be in the video. So that's basically how you edit the video part. So, so yeah, there are other features you can um, use their 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 music or their video clips, and these are free. They are not copyrighted. You can use them. You can add pictures to your video from right here. So you just click on the option right there and said add a photo to your project, and you can add pictures right in the middle of your video with this um, editor. You can add music. You can also add any one of their free music or you can upload your own music to YouTube. I have a video that, that can show you how to upload your edit to um, YouTube and I'm gonna put a link right here. And also you can um, actually use their transitions, any one of the transition that you want. And you can actually use their banner and all, all those stuff. So, and as soon as you finish editing a video, you just scroll up this page and click on the top right hand corner right here where they have create video so you just click on create video but i'm not going to click that right now because i don't want to create a video basically how you would use um the youtube video editor to edit your videos so thank you for making it to the end of this video and if the information i provide to you is valuable and you learned something i implore you to like this video share this video and subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any more of our upcoming videos i want to thank you for watching